Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. We are checking out the King Arts display booth at Toy Soul December 2015. The first thing we're going to check out is a power bank. It is a phone charger for display. It's a quarter scale Hulk from Age of Ultron. It's meant to be a complement to the quarter scale Hulkbuster. If you put these two side by side, you have too much space for your phone chargers because this is an absolute beast of a display item. Essentially, it's a statue in the center. You can essentially charge your phone. The paint app, really impressive, nicely done. We're going to check out some of the one in ninth scale armors that they have available for pre order but not available to purchase yet. We have the Mark 7. And the Mark V, one of my favourite armours, with his standard suitcase that pretty much every single ma uh, figure manufacturer makes. And the Mark VII over here, with the bunch of accessories, swap out parts, and the Iron Patriot at the back. Now, in this display case, are figures that they actually have released and is available right now. So you have the Mark 42, the Hammerhead... And the star booster at the back. This war machine is a limited edition. Apparently only 200 in Hong Kong. It comes with a roadie head sculpt as well. One in six scale translates to around 12 inches or 13 inches high. And one in ninth scale translates to about 9 inches high. King Arts are known for one to one scale movie replicas. Quarter scale and one in ninth scale. And this is the one in ninth scale. Hulkbuster. All of the one in ninth scale Iron Man figures are die cast. This may have additional accessories such as the jackhammer and the floating Veronica pod. Continuing the Age of Ultron line, we have the Mark 45 with quite a few accessories. It has battle damage shoulder pads, chest plates, usual accessories in terms of hands. And also we have Thor at the back, along with Captain America. Here is something unique that I think King Arts have done that no other manufacturer has done at roughly some 1 in 6th scale or 1 in ninth scale. You can purchase an Ultron Prime on its own and then purchase an accessories pack whereby... In, within that pack, you can actually create Ultimate Ultron by adding it on top of the existing Ultron Prime that you have. Interesting idea, and one thing I did notice, the paint app is excellent. It's polished and it looks metallic, it looks die-cast almost. We are going to have a look at also the external display, so they have... These one and quarter scale chargers, the Mark III, the Mark II, you have the Ultron Prime there, and also Vision. Moving across, we have Hulk, one and ninth scale, and also the Hulkbuster, as we saw inside. These are Some of these are prototypes, so we have the Gantry here, which is a prototype, along with their Hall of Armors. And something you'll see a little bit special in a moment. People are always going to be comparing this to Hot Toys because they're very similar in terms of their Iron Man. They're a little bit smaller than 1 and 6 scale. And their designs are pretty much identical. But this is something very different. This is the Avengers Mark 6 walkway. Essentially it's a suit up gantry. But it moves in the film. And the design of this, very nicely done. I'm quite impressed by the detail, I have to say. The top, the arms, the robotic sections that come out. It's an awesome attempt at recreating the Mark VI catwalk. If this goes into production, I'm definitely picking this up. It will look great in my display. Now, I'll actually come back to some of the figures from the Iron Man 3 line in a moment. This is the first time I've seen the Mark 16 nightclub as a prototype, which I think is a fantastic looking vibrant armor. But we'll come back to that towards the end of this video. 
these are prototypes which haven't been released yet. Let's move on and look at some of their one-to-one -one scale movie replicas. We have the Tesseract. They're moving across the Ant-Man helmets and Ant-Man miniaturized and yellow jackets miniaturized as well. On top of that, we have Captain America shield and the helmet as well. And at the back there, a few, I think three, yeah, you have four arc reactors. And we have the Loki stand for his scepter in the opening scene of Avengers Age of Ultron, where Tony Stark wears the Mark 43 gauntlet and swipes it straight out to grab the scepter. So let's check out this nightclub. Very vibrant armor. Detail very nicely done. It's a very sleek design. I would say a lot different than some of the other armors that we have seen. Some of you may be thinking, why is this red? In the film, it was black. It's actually a stealth armor designed so that it can change color, especially for night missions. When you see the Iron Man 3 armors like this, it shows a lot more diversity and different colorations and sizes. So I think King Arts have done a really nice job in creating some diversity, albeit within the Marvel line. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and catch you all at the next video.